In this video I'll look at how I created the fishing boat here. First of all I started gathering a lot of reference on Pinterest. I really enjoy Pinterest for reference material so I gathered a bunch of similar fishing boats or similar to what I had in mind. The problem with this particular view is it's from behind and I found that most views of boats are from the front. Who knew? So it was quite difficult getting a shot from behind, but I got a, enough reference to give me a good idea of the structure of the boat. And I just copied it all off Pinterest and created a bit of a collage of, of boats. You can see here some of the reference, some of the Pinterest reference. Um, there's one there with a bit of rear of the boat. I'm taking it over to Coral Draw, cutting and pasting and just trimming it. Then I open up Open Tunes and I've saved all this reference in a file. Let me just go and create a new file for this animation. And then I go into that file in Open Tunes and find those pics that I've just saved and I import them into Open Tunes, one in each column here. I just stagger them so that as I click down I can I can see them. Otherwise they're all just going to be seeing the first one on the right. And there's my reference. This is a this is kind of the Studio Ghibli reference here is kind of what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to recreate or create something similar to this. This is from Porco Rosso. You see him on the left there. And this is a lovely image of the rear of a, a boat here with the churn. You can see the churn, the white churn from the propeller on the right there. And the wake of the boat. Now that's what I'm trying to create. So that's what I'm aiming for. So once all the references in, let me just save it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go back to scene one, to the tug. And then I'm going to go and strip out everything from that tug scene. I'm going to save it as something else in scene two. And I'm going to take everything out, the sea, the, the birds, the dolphins, take everything out, all those sub X sheets, those purple columns, take everything out, just delete them, cut them, select them and cut them until I'm left with the tug. Save that. Okay. And then I'm going to select all of those columns that are left, collapse them into a sub X sheet. And I'm going to call that, it's still in scene one actually, I'm going to call that tug only sub X sheet. And I'm going to save that. So that's going to become a reference that I'm going to import into my scene two. So let's go back to scene two, back to that file we've just created. There we go. And then go click in a new column, click a frame, right click load level, and then go find that file that we've just created with only the tug. And we're going to import it into this column here. So it's in the scenes folder of scene one and scroll to the bottom and there it is tug i've got tug only and tug only sub x sheets i want to import the sub x sheets one click on it so if you want the full version of this please go check out my animating with open tunes course the links are in the description and of course if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to sign up for the newsletter please go and do that Otherwise, thanks very much for joining my channel again, and I hope I'll see you around here again. All the best, and happy animating out there.